My first time uh, doing voiceover, it was definitely way more fun than I thought it would be. They gave me a lot of room to play and I could sort of just, a lot of times after we got the line, I could just say whatever I wanted and I would throw in different ideas or different jokes. Um, so that was fun. And I'd say probably the easiest part. And then the hardest part is when they're animating it and there's certain things with the timing that they have to get perfect. And so you have to watch a clip and then watch somebody else who recorded uh, an example of it and hit the timing exactly how they hit it while also hitting all the emotional beats and making it sound natural. That was probably, I'd say the most challenging part because uh, it's just not human. It doesn't make any sense. You kind of have to just like force this thing to feel natural. Um, so yeah, which honestly, like when I do TV and film, um, ADR is when you replace the audio if it got messed up or whatever. And that's always the hardest part for me because again, the timing stuff has to be so specific. And the way I act is like, I don't like to think about any of that stuff. And so, um, you know, I'd say that was the most challenging part was fitting the exact requirements that they needed for certain timing things or emotional beats. Um, I watched all of the Night at the Museum movies before this. I grew up watching them and I loved them. Um, I love the monkey. Uh, I think he steals the show. Um, and then obviously Robin Williams, you know, he, he is just the best in everything he does. And so, um, you know, it's funny because I think actually that was probably the first thing I saw Robin Williams in um, that I can remember was when he was Theodore Roosevelt. So um, I would say the monkey and, and uh, Theodore Roosevelt, I guess. I definitely saw a lot of myself in the character. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it was really fun to just play uh, pretty much me. Um, so yeah, I, I love that aspect of it. And, um, and it, it's cool how his musical knowledge and ability, how they played that into the plot and how it ends up affecting the movie. So uh, it was pretty fun. That's a great uh, question. I guess one of the things that he learns is sort of leaning on the people around him. And I think that while yes, he does have to step up himself and be courageous and um, in a lot of ways save the day, he also has a team of people around him who are share a common goal and uh, who we can lean on in times of need. And I think I struggle to remember that a lot in my life where, you know, maybe I'm not fighting, um, you know, a, an ancient monster in a museum, but I, uh, you know, I, I have my own demons and uh, I think um, I need to learn as well sort of how to lean on the people around me to get me through that. Although yes, it is me who has to go through it. Um, I don't have to go through it alone. I just think it's, it, you know, aligns with all their wonderful stories and, and their brilliant concepts that are sort of a little unorthodox and, and uh, out of the box. I think, um, you know, it's, it's a film with heart, but also excitement and adventure and fun. And that's something that Disney really does best. So um, yeah, I, I, it has such a charm to it. And, uh, and um, I think it just fits right perfectly with, with everything else that Disney is doing.